first and it will be about melanin and vitamin D. That's another one where we have to apply logic and evidence to realize what they're teaching us about melanin is totally untrue. I'm sure you've heard this one before. Melanin blocks sunlight and that's why black people are low on vitamin D. Have you heard that one before? We're low on vitamin D because of our melanin family. Has anyone heard that before? That's what they want you to believe. But if you just, if you just apply a little bit of logic, just a little bit of logic, you'll realize that's absolute foolishness. For example, what's the main thing they say vitamin D does? Someone help me out in the chat. They say it helps the body absorb more. What do they say about vitamin D? They say it helps the body absorb more. Vitamin D helps the body absorb more calcium. That's what they tell us. Vitamin D helps the body absorb more calcium, which is good for your... Someone help me out. What's calcium good for? Calcium's good for your... Good for your bones. Therefore, a lack of vitamin D would result in weak... A lack of vitamin D would result in weak bones. Okay, let me tell you something about sport. Especially explosive sports, where there's a lot of running and jumping. In order for any human being, any human being in the whole universe to be able to run fast or jump high, they need to have strong bone density. Why? Because the impact of explosive sports like track and field basketball, football, gymnastics, etc. The impact that these sports have on your skeletal system is so extreme that if you didn't have strong bones, you'd be hearing that these athletes suffer from bone fractures and bone breaks every week. But we don't hear that, do we? Black athletes rarely suffer from bone injuries. And why is that? Why is that? because their bone density is solid due to what? Vitamin D. There's no way you can have strong bones without vitamin D because vitamin D aids in calcium absorption. Look this stuff up. That's what they tell us, remember? So if melanin blocks sunlight, fam, how are black athletes able to run fast and jump high? Don't worry, I'll wait. The obvious is true. Melanin doesn't block sunlight, it absorbs it. And that light energy charges up your melanin like a battery. We went through this in class one, remember? We talked about how melanin is like an electric battery charging up your cells for work. What we didn't go through in class one though, is how your body is electric. Your whole body is electric. Your muscles are electric. Your blood is electric. Even your bones are electric. Did you know this? Your bones are electric. There's a book by a guy named Robert O. Becker and it's called The Body Electric. Who knows about this book here? Powerful book. And in this book, he mentions that bones are piezoelectric. Bones are piezoelectric. What does piezoelectric mean? This means they generate an electric charge when you apply pressure to them. What applies the most pressure to your skeleton? Let's start from birth. What, what sort of activities apply the most pressure to your skeleton? Let's start from birth. Crawling. Does crawling apply pressure to the baby's skeleton? Yes or no? Crawling. Yes. That's how the baby initially develops strength in their bones, by crawling. What's, what's after crawling? What happens after crawling? Baby starts crawling, gets a bit of... Thank you. Walking. Walking is next. Does walking apply pressure to your skeleton? Yes, of course. Not a lot of pressure, but walking is the next step in bone development for the baby, for the human being. What's the next step after that? After walking, <laughs> Jamie said, pull down everything. Yeah, running, climbing, ramping, ramping. 
Does running and ramping apply pressure to your skeleton? Sure does. <laughs> Lots of pressure. But there's something that applies even more pressure to the human skeleton. 10 times more, maybe even 100 times more pressure. What would that be? Anyone in the chat? Oh gosh, people are putting it in the chat already. What applies more pressure to the, to the human skeleton than walking, running and climbing? Hmm. Jumping. Nothing applies more pressure to the skeleton than jumping. And remember, the more pressure means the more piezoelectricity flowing through the bones, the more, the more voltage flowing through the body. So let's be clear. The most electric thing you can do as a human being is jump. That is the most electric act you can do because it applies the most pressure to your electric body. There's only one other thing you can do that's more electric than jumping. George says gravity. There's only one more thing you can do after that that's more electric than jumping and that's flying. In other words, jumping and then staying in the air for a long time. So if you wanted to do a simple scientific experiment to find out who the most electric human beings are on this planet, all you would need to do is study one action. Will they give Michael Jordan a 50? He I hasn't got one yet today. There it is. There he goes. He goes in straight, goes up in the air. Now he's sideways. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. Look at his head above the rim. They show. Here he is again. The fans reacted to the replay on the screen here. Look at him hang and fly. Look at his head. <laughs> that is Air Jordan at his best. Look at the air. Look at the hang time. Look at the flying motion. Science is simple. Logic backed up by evidence. All right, so confusion done. Next time someone says, why do black athletes run fastest and jump the highest? You now know the truth. You now know the truth. Neuromelanin. <laughs> and piezoelectricity. Boom, done. So it's not to do with fast twitch muscle fibers. It's to do with piezoelectric bones more than muscles. Like people like to think that oh, black people are fast twitch muscle fibers and all that. Go back to Africa and look at those tribes that used to do like those jumping rituals. Who knows about these tribes? What's the name of these tribes? Where they're jumping high up in the air. Thank you, J. Rose, the Maasai. Look, look, where you see muscle. They ain't got no muscle, they're skinny, skin and bones. You know why they can jump so high? piezoelectric bone density. It's not to do with muscles, people. They've been tricking us. It's not to do with muscles, it's to do with bones. I used to play basketball back in the day. A lot of the people that used to jump high, they were skinny. Even Michael Jordan, when he first came into the league, he was skinny, but he could jump out of the gym. Now you know why. Do you get me? These people don't even have any muscle. It's just bones, but they can jump super high. Now you know the science behind it piezoelectricity and neuromelanin. Now let me address something. Does this mean that black people have superior genetics? Does this mean that black people have superior genetics? No. It just means our genetics are different. We live in a world where we don't celebrate difference. Why is that? Oh, we're all one race, the human race. No, we're different, fam. What, what's wrong with celebrating our differences? We have different genetics, different skin color, skin tone, different body structure and bone density, different leg length and arm length and torso length, different advantages and disadvantages. Not all of us can run fast and jump high. Don't get it twisted. Not all of us can run fast and jump high. Some of us use our neural melody to become good at writing, dancing, singing, maths, architecture, science, hint, hint, wink, wink. We're all different. Those differences should be learnt and celebrated, not hidden and suppressed. 